Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat from PeptideCritic.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how Randy likes to reconstitute his GHKCU. Uh, this also applies to GLOW, uh, but you know, there's what? there's some nuance in how it's done so that it doesn't burn for Randy's sake. The, uh, the issue is the copper. Uh, it stings, it doesn't feel good. Uh, you know, we're not going to get into the benefits or any of that because that would be medical advice, but uh, none of this is medical advice. But uh, there's a way that you can reconstitute it that really reduces uh, pain. You'll see people saying, you know, you just add 3 ml to your vial and then you pull your uh, dose and then you stick it, the needle in back water and then you pull that and then you've already pierced it twice. So when you um, inject your rat, it hurts like hell. There's an easier way to do it. So here I have 65 milligrams of uh, GHK. That's what the uh, batch tested as. And it's been reconstituted with three ml of uh, backwater. And what we're gonna do is we are going to move it into this container and then we will add 10 ml of backwater. What that's gonna do is that's actually gonna give us a one milligram dose per 20 units. And that seems to be you know, the the magic area where it's just unpleasant. Um, so let's get started. First things first, this entire area is sterilized. My hands are washed and uh, Randy, uh, you know, he took a shower. So we're good there. So we're just gonna use an alcohol wipe on this. We're gonna use an alcohol wipe on this. And then we're gonna use an alcohol wipe on this fresh, sterile 20 ml vial. So this is a 20 ml. As total, we're gonna have about 13 ml in here. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. So let's get the backwater in first. So this is a 5 ml uh, syringe. If you have a 3 ml, you can do the math. All we do, let's get the backwater out. Now, another complaint I've seen with GHK is, you know, yeah, it, it can burn going in, but that it lingers. And I've seen some, you know, what I consider to be crazy recommendations. And I've seen some that are just outright funny. Some of them say you take your massage gun and you put it on the, uh, you put it on the, uh, the spot that's burning. And then you, uh, you do that for about 20 minutes. Some have uh, said, uh, you know, you just uh, obviously dilute it and uh, you take a bunch of zinc and, you know, I've, I've tried all that, uh, but really just diluting it seems to seems to be the ticket and then injecting slowly. So that's done five. Now I'm going to do 10 total. And so the trick here this is kind of annoying, but you see I have an air bubble there and it's because I'm doing this to show you guys how it's done. I'm gonna pull a little extra. So you wanna be accurate with this. I'm gonna take the needle off camera, just purge that air out. Perfect. And we'll add that into here. And so you can see it's getting all bubbly. That's not a big deal. Cool. So we have backwater in that sterile container, and then all we're gonna do is pull this out and we should be good to go. Just get it all. That's all of it. There's like one drop left in there. And we'll just add it to our sterile vial. You can add it fast, you can add it slow, it doesn't matter. Don't shake your peptides, shake your peptides, none of it matters. Okay, and that's it. So I'm gonna actually let this dissolve for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm sure it could be fine right now, but why not? So I'm gonna let this dissolve for 20 minutes and then Randy's uh, gonna get some GHK. So. As always, hope that was helpful, uh, informative, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or shoot us an email. And as always, happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat at peptidecritic.com.